What's up, ninjas? Since it's your boy here, and welcome back to brand video, guys. Today, we are back still on Black Ops 3 because I did not know there's a second part of this campaign. Yes, it's called Nightmare, a zombies campaign only. So let's go ahead and play it. Where's bonus? It's bonus. Where's Check bonus? It out. Oh, it's bonus. Okay. Nightmare. You dumb fuck. There you go. Very nice. Let's go. We're starting this up. Ah, the truth of deception and truth. All that remains is your you sacrifice. You are more powerful than he. Yo, that's Maxis. No, you dumb fuck. That's. <sighs> sounds like the Shadow Man, but it's not. Yeah. Can you hear me? Who's there? I can't see you. My name is Doctor Salim. We've met before. Salim, where am I? You have fallen between the world of the living and the dead. In the void. I'm dead? I can't be dead. Deimos, I have to stop him. And you still can. I'll Deimos. explain as we go. For now, you must trust me. Think back to coalescence. The start of your journey. The beginning. The beginning. Oh. I'm scared. I don't like this. I didn't want to go home. Oh. It started at Coalescence Singapore in 2070, ten years after the disaster, after Virus 6115 began its spread, after the dead began to walk the earth. Interesting. We'd lost comms with John Taylor's I can squad. see you. <laughs> Another undead extermination team. Dead killers, we were called. With our cybernetic augmentations, we were impossible to infect. We were trained to terminate the undead. Wait, we're playing as a female character? What the hell is this? Hendrix was on edge. But there's no audio. We were in a quarantine no audio, zone, yeah. one of many walled-off areas separating humanity from the undead, built to keep the virus and the infected behind their wall. It's only a voiceover, I guess. Rest of us. Wait, wait, look at me. Wait, wait, the undead come weren't our only concern. Hey, you're a girl. You're a girl. Four immortals, yeah, you're a girl. A local combine Let's do scissors together. This place was the epicenter of the epidemic. The 2060 coalition. she gonna shut up? ...created the cursed world we lived in today. Any activity at this site would set off alarm bells. Oh damn. Zombies! Either way, our troubles... Where were the humans though? Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean the turret. No, no, no. Oh, you bitch. Nice. I got my six. Urgh. You don't have oh! Six. Yo, come here! Come here, Shane! Mystery box! No way! <laughs> Yo, chicks up! Oh, what is that? That's sick. Ah, can you get the ray gun though? I want to get the ray gun. Hey. Yeah, I think I saw the ray gun. Dude, you're lagging, man. I'm lagging like fucking crazy. What? Okay, this is like the campaign. And I'm always gonna die. That the ASP was if we were gonna bring oh. it down, we need to disable his shield and find a rocket launcher. Find a rocket launcher. Hendrix had a bad feeling about this. He wasn't the only one. I knew we shouldn't be there. That rocket? You shoot it. Yeah, get the box. No, 
more, come on. No. Oh. I'm red screen. No. Like Grenade. really red screen. Grenade. Grenade. Please destroy. Yes! Got it. Everything lagging though. It is right. Like the door is, is the door open? Hello. Waiting for Hendrix. Oh. Not Hendrix. He opened it. Oh, okay. I see now. Coalescence. Enhance yourself for a better tomorrow. They've been the forefront of technology, always wanting to improve the individual, the future of you. Huh. What happened? What went wrong? A coalescence disaster happened. Virus 6115 spread throughout Singapore and strains popped up all over the world. Governments built these quarantine zones to house the undead. A way for the populace to ignore what was happening. Ten years on, and it had worked. We put it out of mind. Ignorance was bliss. Open the damn door! What was so special about this operation? I think it is the Shadow Man. It was supposed to be by the books. Five years after our cybernetic augmentations, Hendrix and I were a well-oiled machine. Quarantine sweeps, recon, search and rescue. It's just what dead killers do. But we'd never been sent after. You had so much to live for. Why would you do that? John Taylor's <laughs> systems had gone quiet. But you're dead With dead. our direct neural interface, yeah. we're hardwired into Winslow Accord servers. We need to respond. Observation knew if you were dead or alive. For Taylor to be neither, that was unusual. Hey. We located an EMF source and uploaded it to Central. It was a 54 immortal audio log detailing unusual activity coming from the server room at the lowest level of the building. It couldn't have been more than a week old. Probably why Taylor's team had been sent to investigate. Hendrix activated a recon drone to scan for life. We picked up a signal coming from far below. As we stood there in the atrium, I felt like Alice, and we were about to jump down the rabbit hole. Uh, Ebo. Ebo have man of wars. Bye. Mm. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> uh, what a surprise. Our drone picked up activity ahead. We should have known we weren't alone down here. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Let's see if you really are the, the zombie pro player. Oh, instant kill. What? Yo, Van, that's not like strap. It's fucking. I'm out of bullets, man. Why did you uh, swap your gun? Didn't. I respawned with the fucking Vesper with fucking half a mag. Yo, they keep respawning, man. What the hell is this? Hendrix, come here, boy. I just let myself in Pakistan. No, no. Oh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> this door. 
Come on. Hendrix. What's that game I bug man? Open this stupid door. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, we have to wait for the fucking drone. Dude, he's there. Look. The drone's here now. It opens the door. Wow. Oh, my God. When man yeah. the virus, they left behind thousands of active robots. Machinery abandoned with one directive. Kill the dead. Years later, Am I able to wall run now? Finally. Decrepit programming somehow humans had been added to their kill list. Indistinguishable from our brainless counterparts. Dude. The strange cool. behavior was observed in multiple quarantine zones. Another nuisance for us to deal with while on recon. We moved on. Well, we got zombie robots. Come on, Hendrix, move your butt cheeks. We are playing zombies, my son. Yes, we are playing zombies. No, this is all zombies. We reached the silence floor, but the signal came from lower still. Below coalescence. Gonna happen here. We got mystery box, man. I don't know. What the heck? Uh oh. Yeah. All right. Is it gonna be a boss battle? Oh, you're gonna die. Ça pas fait du bien. I have nine bullets left. I don't know where the box is. Oh, what is this? Oh! Yo, I got a gravity smack. Yo, watch, watch, watch. Yo, watch this. Shane. Watch me! Yeah. Watch me, okay. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Oh. Nice. No, it was. You gotta, you gotta kill a zombie. You'll have it. And this one I'm trying to fucking do. I've been literally punching zombies. <laughs> You're still spawning, man. The frap. Oh, what is that? Nightmare pickup. Come here. Found something. Nightmare Where you at? Pickup. Here. Right behind, you. behind you. Where? Behind you. Here. Look. Turn around. Look. I'm gonna pick it up, alright? Hey, bitch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would enjoy that. 
Stay here and collect the bull dice. Did you have no. any inkling of what waited for Ow! You? No. In hindsight, we should have put it together. <laughs> but the fact of the matter, <laughs> that day was supposed to be like any other. So easy with the jump. <gasps> nope. I'm out. Yay. My turn. Give me the ray gun, please. Are you shitting me? Do you do the Lark K5? Yeah. What did you find below Coalescence? A CIA black project. Project Corvus. Unknown to the world, and unknown to most people in the know. As off the Snigger. record as it got. Hey! A redacted footnote in Langley's history book. No. Part of me wishes we just turn back. Why? It, it would have been easier for me. For Hendrix. For the world. Is it such a bad thing? To want to be blissfully ignorant in the face of daunting adversity. We didn't have a choice. Warcier. Those who find fate thrust upon them rarely do. What? Where did you come from? Yo, mama. Oh, again. Oh great touch, now we're locked in. What the fuck? Uh oh. Back to back dice. Oh no. Okay, yeah. yeah. You got my six? Oh! Holy fuck! Six. Oh! Oh! Ow. Dude, that's good. You guess for me, bro. Am I fast? Oh! Yo, they're coming from the floor. That's why. Bad lash. You see, you're being fucking that fast. Keep moving. Oh my god. 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 Got guns on the ground. Back down, baby. Uh, wow. <laughs> my son. I threw my bees down, though. I threw my bees down. I was quick enough to so, do that. So, look what we have here. <sighs> do you even deserve to be revived? Yes. Look at me. Do you even deserve to be revived? Okay. I had to grab the damn thing. It was the only way. I have a shotgun and a special ability bees. Door access. Mine, Tibbs. The human testing lab. What awaited you there? We found the truth. The cause of the disaster. You are certain of this? We didn't have the full picture, not yet, but this was the source. We knew coalescence was where the virus originated, but residue of 6115 in the air left no doubt. This was where it all began. When the disaster happened, hundreds of thousands died instantly. And they were the lucky ones, because when the rest of Singapore inhaled 6115, they changed from the living into the, the living dead Aww. these test subjects 
They were linked together, connected with a direct neural interface. Yo, man, see that? Minds hardwired into the central server. Hendrix didn't like what he saw. You knew Bro, something was some wrong. Like the same tech in our own heads. heads made us what we were. Yeah, it was true. down here in this room. It follow. We didn't know what happened, but the data didn't lie. Right. It's because it's the, like an overlay of the campaign. Thank God. You're fucking everything up. We, the CIA, man, we created these things. We changed the world. How do you mean, change the world? The oh, Winslow Winslow Accord Winslow. and the Common Defense Pact. We'd been engaged in a Cold War for nearly a decade. 6115 changed that. When the dead walked among us, we set aside our differences. For all of your conflicts, you and your enemy had two things in common. You're both human, and you both want to stay that way. Was this the source of the signal? No, but it looked like Taylor had come through. Our answers were still Okay. I do not like this. I got my bees though. My bees are ready. Open the door. Your bees? My bees. So don't think I'm nomad? Yeah. What the? Oops, I broke the glass. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> like the freaking meme. Oh shit. Wait, wait, let me tell you something. It's in the kill. Oh, uh, power up. Power up, power up. Yes. Well, oh, fuck you, man. Should we put pointy power up? Oh, go. <laughs> the door's open. Yo, door's open. Oh, right behind you. Chill avec uh, les bad words, please. Oh, holy shit. Good luck, Shane. Good luck. <gasps> Good luck, my son. Oh, he's still alive. Ricky? Ah! Oh, it's only the same freaking guns, man. It's like, what the fuck? Shit, eh? What should I do? No! No! Ray no. Gun. Ricky. Yo, imagine Ray Gun in the box and I can't take room. it. <laughs> Did you have any idea what you would uncover? We couldn't have known. What we found was... We found Sebastian Diaz. One of Taylor's. Another dead killer. Our friend. He had... He'd linked himself to the CIA server, connected directly with the Winslow Accord systems. He was deactivating defenses for the undead quarantine zones all over the world the massive walls containing the spread I keeping us a boss from the fight undead. coming up deactivating the defenses would let the flesh eating hordes loose upon the living it would end humanity we had to stop them and the only way to stop them now is by destroying the server he is oh shit Touch the light. Dude, they hit so hard. Oh!
Ow, 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 ow. What? Destroy the cooling co rod. Where's the cooling rod? Right here. Destroy that. Right here, shoot it. Got it. Ow, 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 ow. For access. One in. Watch me! Watch me, Shane! Look at me! Sorry, my yeah! Go! Oh, did you see that? No, I was too busy staying alive. Oh my god. I threw a grenade yeah. in the thing. Ow, 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 ow. Boom, bitch. Ow. Starting to run. Oh, this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got a shotty. Yo, six. The cooling thing. I got it. I'm going in again. Watch and learn, brother. Watch this shit. Yeah. Renata! Is that nice? Did you see it? Better rule damage. Want to do it? Um, hold on, yeah, I'm gonna die though. Hey, okay, go ahead and throw the grenade in. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Go 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 go! go do it! Oh, do it! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! Good shit! Oh my gosh! Dude, there's a thousand zombies after me. Come on. Let's go. killed him your friend he left us no choice hendrix wasn't happy and let diaz know that he'd unleashed the dead upon the world hendrix knew what he had to do you needed to find out what he knew what he knew about taylor interfacing with diaz and accessing his memories was the only way to find him Knowing what you know about the N.I., interfacing would surely kill him. That didn't matter. We had to know. Had I known what it would do to Hendrix. From the interface, Hendrix learned Taylor was trying to get out of Singapore. There wouldn't be much time before we'd be too late. Tell me about the name. The name Hendrix learned. The name. Deimos. The demigod of dread and terror. Hendrix, myself, we had no idea what it meant. But Taylor's team was obsessed with it. But more importantly, we learned our arrival on site wasn't a secret. We had company. Uh -oh. Go Lan, leader of the 54 immortals. The Winslow Accord had no quarrel with them. To their credit, they had no idea we were down there. Had they known? Well, 
I'm not sure things would have gone any differently. The Immortals had worried for years about another outbreak. This was the final straw, and contamination was a risk they weren't willing to take. They blew the supports and let the ocean flood the building. We needed to haul ass and get the hell out of here. Oh. oh, are you already through? Oh my god. Nothing to see here. Dangerous! That's your fucking shit! I'm going to start your damage! Dead. Oh, oh. oh my god! Keep shooting. I almost died. No, what? No. <laughs> what? What was that? Progress has been saved. Uh oh. I think we're we need to open this door though. Drix is here. Come here. Open the stupid door. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, help, 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 help. We have to defend him. Is that a dingo? before the whole building collapsed. Hendrix had an idea. Flood the lab and let the water pressure jettison us out. Our lungs could take it. He just needed time to open the door. Open the stupid door. Hendrix. No, oh, I'm losing oxygen. Shit. Watch for the damn thing. It's gonna fall on you. What the? Huh? Right the and? And what happened then? Oh, we got through it. We survived. Taylor's team was making their way out of Singapore. But we weren't giving up that easy. We still had a chance to catch up before the quarantine zone collapsed entirely. We couldn't make sense of what they'd done. Their motivations, their actions. There was no way to explain it. At least not yet. To figure that out, we needed them. And we also needed to get the hell out of Singapore. That was the day everything changed. That was the beginning. The beginning. Damn. So in the campaign, this is the longest mission. All right, Salim. I told you how this began. Now tell me why. How do I stop Deimos if I'm dead? 
Your body is dead, but your mind remains alive. I'm connected through your direct neural interface in your subconscious. To save humanity, you must open the portal with your body gone. The only way to do this is to train your mind. Train my mind? Relive the events preceding your last. Only then can you alter them, change them. <laughs> this... Now this is insane. I'll die from the old change my control batteries. <laughs> what the heck? I'm so confused. Accepted. Protocol. New world. Think back to 2065. You're on a train in Switzerland. Oh, I'm heading toward downtown Zurich. On Taylor? That's him. Commander John Taylor. The first dead killer. The definition of determination. I was a rookie then. Fresh blood. There weren't many of us. There were more rumors about our division than actual recruits. They said we were engineered to be immune to 6115. That we couldn't get infected. This was your first mission? Yes. Five years after the outbreak, most cities had at least one containment zone. We have to replay but all Zurich the missions. managed to stay outbreak free. Now someone wanted to change that. Wait, this this, this, this feels wrong. This can't be right. This this can't be real. How are you doing this? I am not doing anything. This is your mind. I'm the passenger. You're the pilot. Mm. But tell me. Do you remember the train exploding? No! Stop! Make it stop! Dr. Salim, what's happening? What's going on? You must be calm. This is your memory, and you dictate the truth. But your mind can play tricks on you. It can deceive you, and it can lie. This never happened, but it nearly did. You and Taylor stopped it. How can I see something that never happened? What the hell am I seeing? And why does it feel so damn real? The human mind is fragile, easily swayed by an incorrect recounting of events. This was one outcome your mind feared. Start from the beginning and take me through the mission. Once we organize everything correctly, we'll be able to find the truth. Tell me about the raid. What is going on, man? I'm so messed up right The now. raid. There was a Katardis terrorist collective. They were planning something big. But they knew we were coming. Stop. Don't rush through. Let us start with who was with you. You were not alone, after all. Taylor. He told me they'd received a tip about the Katardists. These undead sympathizers had sprung up around the globe in the years following the outbreak. They believed the undead were the next step in human evolution. To become undead was to live. What? The dead should inherit the earth. Dude. Crazy. It's like we're, yeah. we're replaying the missions, but... It's was a there any with zombies? Sebastian Diaz. Oh, fuck the that. Who I coalescence. Who I have no choice, my son. Dead defenses. And back then, no, he was Taylor's that. second in command. We'll see. It, it says it's quicker though. Raid. Hostile encounters were expected with the undead, but that didn't seem to bother him. They were so relaxed. The dead threatened Zurich. They were fearless. Because this mission is the take away go boom, right? Fears. If I was gonna learn my shit, it would be on the job. Yeah. This mission Boom. was my dream. Like, just push through it. It was just another day in the life. Yeah. Business as usual. Bro, it's literally just Business zombies. Was booming. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. What are these drops I keep seeing? I saw them in Coalescence, too. Is your mind trying to help you through your memories? I can finally <laughs> wall run. Let's go. Abilities, powers. Use them or don't, but they may offer you a temporary advantage. Where did Diaz take you next? 
we so it's basically a... Uh... It's literally the whole fucking campaign but with zombies. I'm not doing that Tyson, I would rather go, like... I'd go play zombies. You'd rather play zombies? Yeah, but... You have no choice. What the shit?! Oh! Oh! Okay. You can go here. Oh yeah, we have to kill him. I have a pistol. Take the gun, take the gun, take the gun, go, go. The entrance was locked. We had to destroy a generator to get it open. That was around the corner, with more dead standing in our way. I had an arsenal in front of me, but Diaz made it clear. He told me to run point on the ground. He was curious to see me think on my feet. In a way, he was acting as your training. Diaz wanted me to earn the name Dead Killer. <laughs> and there's really only one way you can do that. I had support that day, but when you're out there in the real world, you're on your own. No, no reinforcements. Just you and the undead. I'd show him I was worthy of the name. Are you worthy, Shane? Are you worthy to be? Oh my God! Ow! A zombie player. If so, you need to complete the full Black Ops 3 campaign of zombies because you don't have the achievement. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I really don't care about the achievement. Uh, it's like an Easter egg, bro. You gotta complete it. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I got it first, bitch. Where's the mystery box? What is screaming like that? What the fuck? Dude, what the hell was that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, they all just spawned in front of me. I got this. Watch and learn, brother. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, the guy can shoot the, the lava thing. Not even on fire. Usually there's zombie uh, robots, but there's nothing. Stay with me. Come back to my voice. The robot. I can't. I don't. I don't understand. Tell me what happened. I, I saw. I don't know. I saw robots, and they were. They, they were ripping me apart. What's happening to me? What was I seeing? It is a lapse. Your mind is wandering into the unknown. Your subconscious oh. finding fears, dreams, doubts. I think I know what's Stay happening. Stay with me. Stay with my voice. You're still in the factory. You were about to make a discovery. We... I, I, I... Yes, yes, there, there was a console head. And Diaz told me to interface to get access to their network. We had to find out what they were planning. Had you ever extracted information with your DNI before? No. Nothing can really prepare you for it. The flood of data, endless streams of infinite information. It's instantaneous, and it's in eternity. What did it show you? The Cotardas had a contact. 
an inside man at Coalescence World Headquarters in Zurich. We had his address, ID number, security details, the last of which was most telling. He had extensive security clearance at Coalescence. Specifically, he had access to 6115, the virus. Then let us do just that. Let us find him. Take okay. me to his apartment. Ah, oh, Coalescence, I'm in fucking game. I know. No, I'm not doing that, man. I'm just supposed we were to... We ready to breach, but... You have no choice. Have we've only been playing for an hour. I had to get out there. My mark was going to release 6115 into the surrounding Yeah, we're on the third Remember. fucking mission out of 12. No, oh, 11. Or 10. You weren't alone. Who else was there? Taylor? Taylor. Yes, he discovered our mark had just unleashed the virus into Old Town, turning civilians into the living dead. But Taylor didn't leave that day. No, he had Overwatch. He was our eyes in the sky. Sarah Hall, however... Sarah Hall, team's intelligence expert, was with me. She had point. She found our mark. Apparently his supply of 6115 was ten times what we initially believed. Enough to turn all of Zurich into a city of the dead. Mm. Hall had been with Taylor as long as Diaz. He practically raised her, trained her. He made her. Right. With Taylor in the sky, Hall was our feet on the ground. She didn't have as much patience for fresh blood as Diaz. She was direct and focused. And right now she was. Gotta rush through it, man. Target yep. the Fastest that we can. I think you're going, bud. What? Uh, I'm talking to the guy. Ow! Yeah, I don't remember doing all of this. What? What happened when you caught him? Our mark was bleeding out after that fall through the ceiling. Time wasn't on our side, and we needed information. So what did you do? I would do what Hendrix did in Coalescence. I had to interface with him, extract the information from his memories. You make it sound cold. <laughs> you would be diving into this man's mind. A dangerous task. A terminal task. I know, but you have to make it cold. Detach yourself from the person. It was our first time performing this sort of interface, and Hall wanted to get that point across above all else. It's nothing personal because there is no person. They're not humans. They're data banks for pilfering. Even though it what? would kill him. Even though. <sighs> it's ironic, really. Ironic? Hall teaching me how to raid a person's mind. How to rape a person's mind? It wouldn't be long. Mind. <laughs> well, <laughs> we know what happens to Hall. What I do and I'm about to, to Hall. Fuck you. But we do what we have to do. I'm about this to school fuck you guys. Made. If we don't do it. That's if we can't sacrifice the individual, the interface how do we protect the other else? person's mind? That is a heavy life. burden to press upon the individual. If not us, then who? This was what it was about. Being part of an undead extermination team. Being a dead killer. It's about making that sacrifice. Making the ultimate sacrifice. What did you find? 
What secrets did your databank have to share? The Kutardis group had set up shop deep in the subways. Whatever they were planning, the answers were there. Information that would stop the bomb, save millions of lives, the greater good. <laughs> yeah, the greater good. Now we're back on the train. Taylor joined us. If we were going to move on the subway, we had to act fast. The attack, whatever it was, was imminent. And your mark? What happened to him after your interface? He was gone. Dead. Whoa. Why are you shooting? The tunnels. We tracked down the Katardis operations and they were putting up a good fight. Who joined you in the tunnels? Taylor oversaw the operation. But the lead on this was Peter Moretti, the last of Taylor's team, an explosives expert. He was the guy you wanted when you needed to blow shit up. He was damn good at blowing shit up, which made him perfect for the fight ahead. Fearing discovery, the Cotardis Collective had an armada of undead and patrolling robotics guarding the facility. I won't lie, it's strange seeing Moretti like this knowing what happens next. He was crucial to finding Taylor, to finding Deimos. You mean the refineries in Cairo? He had a pivotal part to play. He just didn't know it yet. What he knew then was the way to the hideout. He took point. Oh my gosh, Shaggy Leg going, oh, going through that, man. There's a thousand of them. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. My savior. Oh, I'm in the door, I'm in the door, I'm in the door! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fucking I wanna play some real fucking zombies. No, no, this is real zombies. I'm dead. No, it's not. I'll yeah. take you. You have no idea how hard this is. It's not. <laughs> you guy ain't coming. Thank you. Why are you letting me alone? Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Fuck this game. I'm going. I'm going to play some zombies, man, for real. Dude, Fuck this that. is zombies. What are you on about? No, this. No, this is not zombies, dude. This is. This is the gayest version of zombies I have ever fucking played. <laughs> Even Call of Duty. Black Ops 4 zombies is better than this, okay? <laughs> yeah, I understand. But oh, you have to complete it, because you did not complete it. No, I don't. No, I do not need to complete it. I, I am not the one doing the fucking campaign from, Call, from the first Call of Duty ever made, okay? I am just a single zombie player, having some fun, and this is not fun. This is fucking fun. My guy, this is <laughs> This is literally doing the campaign all over again. Except the only thing that has changed is the zombies. Okay? Zombies so and the voiceover. And it's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> like the stupid duck cunt doing a voiceover. Okay? Now, 
I am gonna back up, back ah! I'm going to back out after this fucking game, and I'm gonna go play some actual zombies. I might uh, go play Gorod again. You're gonna leave me alone to play this? Yes, because this is torture. I'm not doing this torture. I am uh. not doing this. Hey, like, like, this is this, this zombies doesn't even count as a campaign, man. It's not even a campaign. I just want the achievement, that's it. The Katardis group had planted a biochemical <sighs> bomb containing 6115 on, on a maglev train. They were going to detonate it in downtown Zurich. Their plan was to turn the whole city as we feared. Taylor said there wasn't much time, but I'd done good for all the on-the-job training. Train go boom, Shane. Come on. I'd done train go boom. Myself. Yeah. All that was left yeah, no, fuck that. was to find the train. Oh my god. Good. <laughs> you didn't that? even need my push to the final memory. This is the stupid events and a I have ever seen. At the truth. Yeah, it, it is. Now, what happens? now we set things right. Through your mind, you realign the events uh -huh. as they occur. I hope there's a boss battle. That's, that's the only thing I want. If I work with you and remember the there events is. leading up to Zurich, there will be man. We will be able to open the gateway. But uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, teddy bear. Let's finish here first. Already in the front of the train. Oh shit! Oh my god! 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 Oh, come here. Mark, I already left. Nah, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> I am playing some I found the car. right now. The whole thing was wired up, primed oh, to blow. Shit. There, there was left a time. me alone. I couldn't disarm it. So what did yes. you do? Remember how we can't get infected? Yes, I did. Some of the rumors about us were true. That's why I was there. Why we make the sacrifice. I use my cyber. I literally don't understand this campaign right now. To reverse the polarity of the train car and attach it's, it. It's 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 literally the stupid shit I've ever seen. They literally took the, like, think about this. Okay? Have you lived? They made a campaign, which was pretty weird, which was decent. But I turned out alright. And now they're saying, oh, we're gonna do a nightmare, the last time which I will basically yet. um put the same exact maps, the same the same concept of the campaign, except it's a woman fighting for for zombies and for her life. That's <laughs> uh, basically no. it. No, 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 no. I remember this place. <sighs> what are they doing? Why am I playing it? Dr. Salim? I have no what idea. <laughs> Why can't I move? You must let She's this go. Nice. Stay with me. Relax. Come back to me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Come back hey, to the Kino. void. I love Look at old Kino. I would love to play Kino. But I must complete this. Stupid campaign. Oh my god. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm back. I'm ready to continue. Good. Now that you've begun the mission, let's return to 27. I've been recording for an hour now. <laughs> More than that? There With quarantine no, an hour and nine minutes. Literally. We couldn't raise WA command. If we were going to escape, Oh, look, someone wants to do Kino. We Kino. turned the okay. 54 Immortals. They were dangerous and unpredictable. Uh, there's a, there's an XP lobby. Hendrix, trust it then? Mm. What choice did we have? If we wanted out of Singapore, we had to go through the biodomes. Alright then. I'm gonna we finish to go the campaign, the then I'm gonna join zombies afterwards. They're real zombies. <laughs>
I don't know if I'll still be online, bro. Oh. That's what I, I told you, bro. It's going Getting in was easy. Getting out would be another matter entirely. At the time, the biodome was the safest place to be. Zombies. With the outbreak of 2060, the immortals seized the marina and dug in. The biodomes were impenetrable. Dead proof. Hendricks had a contact, Danny Lee. He was slimy as I come, but he could get us transport. Not only that, Taylor had beaten us out of the biodomes, and Danny claimed to know where he was heading. They had this information. Danny was convinced Gojulan had info on her central server. They were doing us a solid, really. But that didn't come cheap. They wanted food, water, weapons, reinforcements from the Winslow Accord. We agreed to their terms with no idea if we could honor it. The Immortals were a people of their word and quite efficient in punishing those who did not act the same. Danny was in a bad mood. The Immortals weren't exactly happy to see us. They knew our part in what had happened in Coalescence. Danny went so far as to accuse us of opening the containment zones ourselves. Hendrix persuaded him otherwise. But that didn't change how I felt. We were there. We had our chance to stop Diaz in the server room. You cannot blame yourself for what is out of your control. There were powers in play far greater than your own. Powers with far more control. You were a pawn in his game. You mean Deimos? Well, as it turns out, we weren't his only pawns in the room. How do you mean? You can get us a ride out? Sure, I'll give you that. But claiming to know where Taylor was? Know that saying, too good to be true? Something was wrong. There was something malevolent, malicious. I called Danny out. I wasn't too happy with that. But then again, we assumed he was just scared. The outbreak now occurring worldwide was unprecedented. We were all scared. Up till now, we'd become complacent. We got comfortable. The dead had stayed in their cage, and we kept pretending nothing had happened. Taylor and Diaz changed that. Pandemonium, riots, civil war, countries were already tearing themselves apart, in many cases before the dead even reached them. Danny wasn't scared. He was stalling. And it only took us another moment to find out why. The Go siblings. Danny set you up. No, no, no. This was different. It was their eyes. Hollow. Empty. Void of life. Like they could see right through me. They all had it. Just like Diaz. It was only later we found out all higher-ups in the Immortals were outfitted with DNI. Like us. <sighs> if only we'd known the part our own technology would play. <laughs> the thing about dead killers, though. There's always a plan B. We had a robot squad in place, ready if the situation took a turn. Gojulan bolted before our robots got her. She was headed for the server room in Cloud Mountain, the only place we could put in the call from transport. It became quickly apparent that uninvited guests had joined the party in the biodomes. The dead were Wait, flooding this into this safe haven. He was about to become hell on Earth. We had to move. Seriously. We had to get to Cloud Mountain. What is the point of this stupid campaign? I don't know how the undead got in. Yeah. A forgotten open gate. A child's mistake. A poorly nailed board over the yeah. It didn't matter. It was spreading fast. We were already outnumbered 20 to 1. The remaining humans scrambling away from locked in their homes. Oh my god. Holy oh shit. There's a thousand of them. Towards us. 
What the sh- Whoa! There's flying monsters now. I repeat, there's flying monsters. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? They're giant mosquitoes. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna die. Die, die. Die, 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 die! Oh, you're seriously not in the game anymore. No. I have to don't, face don't everything stop. by myself. Please help. Please help me. Yo, Vikings, I'm dead! Fuck off. Dead. I got it. With the shipping yard cleared, Cloud Mountain was just ahead. The server room at the top. We had a long climb ahead of us. Oh, bro. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. I'm not dead. I will survive. I always do. I'm rushing this campaign so damn fast. I just want to get done with this. Please. End this suffering. By the time we got there, Gojulan encrypted her hardware, locking us out of the central server. Hendrix stepped in, but we were a few seconds too late. Damage was done. Why did she lock you out? It didn't make any sense. Sure, we weren't on the best of terms, but this wasn't her. Hmm. Something else made her do it. Something was controlling her. <sighs> the encryption used a biometric hand scan. Hendrix tried to unlock it. But the Go siblings were smart. They'd set up an access system requiring both of their hands for authorization. And her brother was shredded with bullets back in the bar. We could hear the horde coming. And we only had one sibling. But she did have two hands. You chose to cut off her hand. Why? I hoped the biometrics were interchangeable, allowing the siblings to use either reader. We were calling transport and getting out alive. It had to work. Lucky for us, it did. Hendrix interfaced with the system. He was able to raise WA command. We needed a ride out ASAP. They had a VTOL a few minutes out. Rendezvous was set for the top of the dome. But Hendrix wanted to know what Gojulan had on Taylor. Anything, even the smallest details, would be helpful in picking up his trail. And that would take some time. And time was something we didn't have. Hendrix searched the archives. 
I want to die, 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 die. I want to die. Please, Shane, come and suffer with me on this campaign. I am not. That's not good. Oh. Everything's in slow motion. What the hell? Hendricks had pulled all the data he could. I hoped it was enough. Our pickup was in position. It's time to get the hell out of here. Our bird wasn't alone in the sky. Our VTOL had caught the attention of an old automated race. We needed to find another way. This wraith telling you. It was like the malfunctioning robot you found in different quarantine zones. The kind targeting anything and everything is an enemy. Just like that. Except on a much larger, more deadly scale. And this one was very interested in us. Command had an exit route. Extraction set beyond the swamps. If we crossed the super trees, there were shipping docks where we could commandeer an airboat. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Between the flesh eaters and that wraith eyeing us, a super tree would be no walk in the park. We had to haul ass and stay out of sight. But they weren't our only concern. Winslow Accord picked up chatter ahead. Uh, the damn fly thingy. I don't know where they are. It's not in the, the real zombie games. Oh! Oh yeah, they are. And what's the map called again, Chin? There with the the fucking mosquitoes. Bitch. Are you gone? The super tree was collapsing. The only safe of the docks was up. Chatter confirmed that 54 immortals were scrambling to get out of the biodomes through the swamps. Brecky, let's go. From the 
sound of it, they wanted us dead as much as the flesh eaters did. Looked like we were jumping from one bad situation into another. Ah, <sighs> my son. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Why? Okay, I told you. I asked you if the, the mosquitoes were in the map in the end of Real Zombies game. Shadows, yes. right? There are shadows. Of... Okay. They're in Revelations. They're in. Fucking revelations. Fucking 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 fuck. Ah! 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 Yeah, just Hendrix like commandeered an air ah. and set the auto oh. He's right in my mask. Ass and more 54 that was delicious. You know what I want? I want, done with us yet. I want to play. Uh, Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm gonna do post. Whoa, <coughs> right right I can't remove my mask. Why could you dick? Oh you think though, that's a problem. Oh no. all your fault. You should have stayed and played. You're not a real zombie player. Accord and CDP had been thrown into chaos. We'd lost Hong Kong, Berlin, and Cairo, and it was just getting started. What would come next? Bites the dust. How the world would change? There was no way. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Years, five long years. Opening the corner. Like the only thing they added. Is a talking tree. What was a yeah, literally. Do you want to do an Easter egg after or no? Uh, yeah, it depends what time it is. Had been reduced to a few yeah, it depends on what time it is too, because I don't want my girlfriend's coming back home, so you know. Uh, god damn it. I'd rather play some Keno. Yeah, Keno. There was still a Winslow Accord. Ah, uh, what to do, what to do. I don't want to play some Keno very nicely right now. We were on a routine bombing run Kino's outside too Kyle. Easy. Our orders were to bomb the dead into the next life. Our orders were to bomb the dead into the next life. <laughs> Tyson, have you ever played the Ascension map? Uh, I think so. Bruh, I'm playing the damn sandcastle. Our target was a Katardis colony. They'd taken over a refinery. It was a well-armed facility protected by the dead right they worshipped. Top priority was to cut off their cars and leave them in the dark. You but know what would be nice to for them to remaster to block up to Mob of the Dead? Oh yeah. I just hate that they do. Shaka laka boom.
This was a routine sweep. Every time another sympathizer colony sprouted up, we'd squash it back down. As far as we were concerned, we were doing the world a favor. Oh my god, I remember. The biggest. on the array, but the undead sympathizers weren't going down without a fight. Not even zombies, man. I'm sad. Our support detail needed a few moments to disable the array. Lucky for me, I had more hostiles to keep me occupied. Damn, Disabling man. the comms would take some time. Our support detail dealt with that. I dealt with more enforcements. Station disabled, we had to get back to our bird. Sorry, zombies, but I must do it. was ahead. Bring it down, we'd be one step closer to eradicating this colony. Disabling the comms would take some time. Our support detail dealt with that. I dealt with reinforcements.
apps. With the comms disabled, we needed to get back in the air. Their comms jammed, the next step was to breach the control room to take back the facility. There was access ahead. I just needed to get through the flooded room in front of me. Our support detail insisted on coming with. When you were swimming, something went wrong. Our DNI. There was a malfunction. What did you see? I... I saw... I was drowning. I, th I thought I heard... Oh my god, I was drowning. I wonder what's happening. Uh, this is not I already true. replayed this. Get Why? Up. Do not trust him. Everything is not what it seems. What did you hear? I... Nothing. I couldn't make it out. Get... Up. And I woke up. Someone pulled me out of the water. Someone saved me. Hmm. Saved you? A guardian angel. Someone watching over me. My support detail. She got through somehow and, and pulled me out. She brought me back from the brink. She said it wasn't my time. My work wasn't done. I had to stop Taylor. I don't know how she knew. It didn't make any sense. Did you know her? This woman? No. I'd never worked with her before today. And yet she knew about Taylor. She knew about what happened. And you're sure she was there? What? Why? You think I made her up? You yourself said your DNI systems were malfunctioning. What? You gonna tell me I'm crazy next? I know what I saw. Hmm. I did not make her up. I didn't fucking imagine her. Did she have a name? Of course she had a fucking name. The oh, Guardian oh, Angel. She said... She said her name was Kane. She told me she'd help me get through this. What? She said we had to move. Okay, Control shame. was beyond a server room ahead. If we were going to take the refinery from these dead sympathizers, suck my cock? we needed to clear it out. If we couldn't, we would be on to Plan B. Plan B? Plan B. <gasps> this shithole to hell. Open the stupid door! Oh my god, this is pure pain. What am I doing? Thank you. We prepped to breach, but it turns out our enemies planned ahead. The explosion blocked our path. We had to double back. It caught us off guard. But the noise also caught the undead's attention. Fucking bullets! This stupid bullshit! Grouped with our allies. That's Egyptian Army Lieutenant Ziad Khalil, friend of ours. He was durable, seasoned. He defended his home through undead wars. He wouldn't go down without a fight. What was the plan? Khalil would move on control from the exterior. I'd sweep the dead from the air. Our guardian angel accompanied me. She. She told me the answer to finding Taylor was on this refinery. Why she thought that? How she knew that? It was surreal. Meow. Where do you think you're? 
You're going there, bud. Two toys, are you almost done? Huh? Are you almost done? No. Oh man, well actually, yeah. Oh sh- Hey, no music! took the control room he found something on the security footage something we needed to see Taylor Mike seeing a ghost we we just stumbled upon him this wasn't just a Cotardis colony this was Taylor's hideout they were already evacuating Taylor we locked down the facility separating Taylor and his associate Moretti who did you go after it was too late for Taylor. The Cotardus put him on a veto. We'd go after Moretti. Command informed us the kill order was still active. Henry's didn't like that. But it wasn't his call. How did you feel about it? Five years. Five years after our fuck-up and we could fix it. I'd gladly take the shot. Aw, oh, spaghetti meatballs! Oh. He was just below us. If we were gonna get him, we'd need to take a shortcut. Shortcut? A leap of faith. The 20 bullets that I needed are right here. Swapping down. First unit for a bottle of only two. coping with the change of plans he was upset and why wouldn't he be command wanted our friends dead he wanted to bring Moretti in alive but that wasn't all was it no Hendrix Hendrix had been different since Singapore in what way every way aggressive angry he was losing perspective and there something was just off I should have known what happened. How could you have known? E even if you had, what could you have done? You seem so certain of his intentions. We all battle inner demons and our choices. Hendrix, Taylor, that whole team rose the ranks together, fought alongside each other. 
Little did we know one of his friends was watching us. Sniper. Moretti had locked himself in the security room. Only way in was to cut the power. To do that, we had to overload the generators. Shoot! I can't shoot! I can't shoot! What did Maretti say? He said that name. Same as Diaz. Deimos. He said if I wanted answers, I had to find Damien Bishop. A man we both knew from a past mission. Bishop could help stop Deimos. But first, I had to kill him. He kept saying, this isn't me. This isn't me. He kept saying Deimos made him do it. So I granted his last request. Deimos. Deimos is his name. Deimos. I killed him as he asked. I did our job. It didn't sit with Hendrix. Can you blame him for his outburst? Hendrix was pissed because Moretti was our link to finding Taylor. A link I just severed and split open on a spike. And the guilt I carried all those years that I channeled inward. Henrix channeled outward at me. This was our chance to fix our mistake, and I fucked that up. Hendrix said I may as well have damned the world myself. I'd had enough. I knocked some sense into him. Sometimes it was the only way to get through. I told him what Moretti had told me about Bishop, Deimos, whoever the hell he was. The mention of Bishop got Hendrix's attention. Last we saw him was back in 65, 10 years ago in Ethiopia. How Bishop knew Deimos, we hadn't a clue. But we'd figure this shit out, and we'd do it together. But right then, we had bigger problems. The Egyptian army couldn't hold the refinery. Plan bomb this shithole to hell was a go. Deimos is a demigod. We had to get out of there. Now. I don't know. Dying God of War. <laughs> Crushed by a ventilator. It's Shaba, bitch. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Next mission. I'm almost almost complete. And we're recording for two hours. This bishop that Moretti mentioned. Damien Bishop. The man who found the cure. A vaccination to make 6115 victims human again. A cure? A cure. Did it work? Hey, shut up. Something was blocking it. Bishop had this theory. He believed somewhere there was an undead brain. A single creature controlling them as a collective hive. He believed that it somehow blocked the cure. We met him in 2065 when he made the breakthrough. News traveled fast. He and a few others were kidnapped in Ethiopia. It was a joint op with Taylor's team. We were to extract Bishop from a base overrun by the dead. I'm literally replaying everything from the campaign. So stupid. With the dead crawling all over, we needed a distraction. Something to keep the flesh eaters occupied so we could grab Bishop. We weren't dead killers yet, so we had to be a little more creative. And lucky for us, there were plenty of NRC birds in the sky, 
and the NRC's the system worked. Ever. Laser this cannons built grouping. to auto-target yeah. any hostile aircraft. Slip my nose. The diversion. And Taylor's team prepped extraction. Unfortunately, it seemed our cover wouldn't last as long as we hoped. The remaining NRC noticed the radio silence from air traffic you are control fucking weird, and sent you know soldiers that? to investigate. Yeah, I know. Command set exfil for a satellite station off base. Because we got a cut in the system to target one of the automated planes when circling I punch above. Myself in the face. Turns out the undead <laughs> have a thing for giant explosions, like moths drawn to a porch lamp. And all we had to do was turn on the lights. Oh, is that so? Unfortunately. We couldn't exactly control the landing. Hendrix alerted Taylor the bird was down and the diversion in play. We took out the NRC and moved. Bishop was being held underground in the security station across the tarmac. Can you move your ass? Alpha, alpha, secondary. They cannot be two alphas. It's not. Hendrix no ordered weapons down. The base was crawling with NRC soldiers and undead. No need to draw any more attention to ourselves. We crossed the tarmac. The tunnel ahead led to the security station. Butt cheeks. Nice. Hendrix took out the guards. I hacked into the system to find Bishop. Why were their NRC still at the base? It was being overrun. They needed the cure. They kidnapped Bishop's whole team and would do whatever it took to get their hands on it. They'd torture these researchers till the dead broke down the door and ripped them all to shreds if it meant they could save their people. It wasn't personal. It was self-preservation. Thirsty? With the secret out about Bishop's discovery, he'd become the most wanted man in the world. The NRC were just the first to grab him. It was every country for itself. Why do you think we were there? The Winslow Accord wanted the same thing the NRC did. You can't rationalize anything when you're put up against the wall. Nothing about this was rational. It was instinctual. Animalistic. Survival. That's got to be the shittiest campaign ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably, man. Yeah. Holy fuck. You cannot reuse the same campaign and put something over it. That's just so nice. Change, change. 
camera. He had been escorted to an interrogation room. We had to hurry. Behind us was an undead army. Was Once an one got army. a whiff, oh my God. the others would come running. Okay. Open the stupid door. Thank you. Where are the zombies, huh? Where the frick is zombies? Hendricks told Bishop who we were and that we had to move, but Bishop refused to leave without the other researchers, his friends. Our instructions were specific. Bishop was our priority. We didn't like it, but Bishop refused to leave without them. It sounds like you were taking an awful risk. He said for the cure to work, he needed them. They weren't expendable. Technically, we were. In a way, you and the NRC were not so different in what you wanted and how far you were willing to go. Our method was different. Our reasoning was not. No one wants to sacrifice themselves to save the world. But you like to think if the moment came, you'd have it in you. Who was inside the cell? Lieutenant Zied Khalil, member of the Egyptian army. Back in 65, he was a guard assigned to Bishop's research station. This was how we met. Hendricks cut him down and notified Taylor we were freeing the other hostages. Taylor said we didn't oh. have the time. The base was swarming with help additional me, NRC Shane. forces. Please help me. They weren't letting their prize go that easy. End this suffering. I want to die. There's okay. a tunnel full of hostile soldiers between us and our exit. Come the on. cargo There's elevator ahead was the only Put it in your fucking service. ass. No telling Put a few bullets in it. <sighs> Yeah, I just got insta killed, really. It's all your fault. No, it's all your fault. The remaining NRC forces were waiting for us above. They weren't about to let their prized prisoner go. If it meant getting the cure and saving their families, they were willing to die for it. And they weren't the only oh, no. ones. Taylor showed up and killed everybody. 
We'd never seen dead killers in action before. To us, it was a spectacle. To them, it was just another day in the life. Wait a minute. Do not be deceived by his lies. Remember your past. Remember when you first met John Taylor. Remember the truth. Remember the truth. I can't. This can't be real. I told you I met Taylor in Zurich during the 2065 Qatardist uprising. After. Okay, can you stop breathing like that, please? Here I am, Taylor. And my limbs haven't been replaced yet. Do not tell me what to do. Why did you tell me that the first time I met Taylor was Zurich? Focus. You need to complete this mission. What was Taylor's plan? He's still on for X. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have to blow the bridge. We followed Diaz. Both undead and NRC forces were converging on our position. What am I supposed to do here? There you go. All part of the plan. DRM, baby. grabbed us after the hangar. She was to take us to Moretti, so we could blow the bridge. Yeah, boom, baby! You're dead. See ya. There you go. After the bridge, we were forced inside a comm center. Moretti took point. The rendezvous with Taylor was an APC garage just ahead. Don't open the door. Please. 
There you go. Wonder what that is, eh? Shit. Come on, robot. We could hear the undead screaming towards. Oh, it's not robots. Oh no. shit. A robot horde was moving in. Come on in, buds! See how long I can survive this shit. Keep spawning, zombies! Haven't you learned your lesson? Oh, I thought it was a ray gun. No. Oh, this is too easy. You were forced into the garage. What happened there? Hendrix wanted to go back and get the other hostages. Taylor said Bishop was priority. After all, he had the cure. The rest were just... collateral. What did Taylor do? He volunteered to take his team to get the others. We were to take Khalil and Bishop to Exville. We got on the APC. Bishop was the most important man in the world right now. We had to get him to Exville if they killed us. It's a go, boys and girls. Was already on top of whatever. Come the hordes of zombies. The APC stalled on us. Oh, oh, now it's robots. spun out and crashed. Hendrix moved Bishop into position. The drone evac was inbound. Once secured in the drop pod, it would return to collect. We just needed to hold back the board. This 
I am dying. I am dying. I don't know. I am dying. I think I'm almost done. Probably like three missions left. This would be way quicker if I had another person to play with because I keep dying. Let me see. This again. No. I'm gonna rip my arm off. This. I can't live this again. No, please. I am sorry. You must. No, no, please. If you wish to defeat Janus, you must. To save the world, you must relive this. I should have died. I felt myself fade. Black screen. That was the day you met Bishop, the man who found the cure, before he died at the Cairo Aquifers. Moretti told you to find him. On Moretti's instruction, we sought him out. We told him what we knew, which at the time was just a name, Deimos. He didn't know much, just that Deimos was responsible for the outbreak, and that a safe house in Singapore had a dossier on the guy. So we returned to Singapore. Little did we know, Go Julan had taken the city and somehow gotten the undead to obey her. Oh, if we were going to get to the safe the house, undead? we'd have to go through them. Dude, I just want to get. I want to finish this campaign. It's so ass. Why am I playing it? Why? The vultures, sadistic scavengers, ravaged by atrocity and time, driven by fear and insanity. We saw their victims strung up on display the moment we arrived. When forced against the wall, the impurities of man can be revealed. It was more than that. This was survivalism. When only 1% of the world's population is human, you either died and became the undead, or you survived by preying on the living. Oh, come on. Wow. Go here. Hendrix, come here, bud. Can you hurry up, please? Please. Housekeeping. Go. I'm gonna take a shit. Ah, ah. I'm impatient. Really.
scavengers were well equipped. I suppose that's what you get when you prey on your fellow man. We made a quick work of them. Hi zombies. Happy to have us back in town. Oh, yeah. Overwatch confirmed the vultures were converging on the safe house. Civilian spotted on site. We didn't know if we could get through without additional collateral damage. Curious, the vulture's behavior. Willing to kill the living and the dead alike without prejudice. Survival of the fittest at its most primal. They act with reckless abandon without thinking of the consequences. They have to know, the more they killed other humans, the slimmer their chances became. Don't think of them as humans. They're animals. Abandoned by any form of governing body, they dictated their own society. They were tribal, nomadic. In their eyes, man was as much a threat as the other. Stick move the bay first, man. Yeah, and. Shush. You, what, what? Fuck you. <laughs> Give me a sec, I'm almost done here. The scavengers began realizing they weren't the only humans in the area. It was a matter of time before Goju Long knew we were here. The safe house Probably was two more the gardens, missions. But the gardens belonged to the dead. They smelled us lurking above. Before Hendrix could take him out, the scavenger alerted Goju Long. She knew we were here. Whoa. Reinforcements were moving on a check. Eyes is glowing. Along with more. Eyes is eyes glowing. X.
shit. What? He's possessed. Why did they create these displays? What was the purpose? They weren't just displays. They were art. A way to show off their work. Lure their enemies with the dead bodies of friends. Vultures are territorial. They fought among themselves. Sociopaths at war with everyone and everything. This doesn't make sense. Undead. Or fellow human. Right there with Either way, you were a predator it. competing over the I same resources. And now we'd become prey baited into a trap. Now he, now they're undead. Um, blow up the door, please. I'm waiting. Boom. Go there. A malfunctioning ASP heard the commotion and joined the party. I needed to find a rocket launcher. Boom, guy was a dynamite. Man, Moon was such a wolf. Well, made God. Well, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. It was very thoughtful. I never played, I never did the Easter egg on it. Me neither. But Wait, I think I. Like I said, we're gonna have to play every zombies map and do each Easter egg. With four people, no question asked. Which... The vultures beat us there. Yeah, who's our two other players? Gojulan announced herself over a PA. Find out. She was inside. And she had a special guest waiting for us.
Oh my god. We cleared the plaza. All that was left was to get inside. The blast knocked us back. We heard the building creaking. It could collapse at any moment. Hendrix thought we should stand down. It wasn't worth it. You push back. We needed that dossier. At this point, it was our only lead to Deimos. Really? I told Hendrix to call an expert. I'd take the safe house. Bishop had told us the document was hidden in the panic room within the facility. Who was in the panic room? Her. Guardian Angel. Someone had beaten the hell out of her. Go Julian. She was there for the same thing I was. The same thing our friend was. The dossier. Die in the fire. Kill it. Kill her. Kill his host. Prove yourself worthy. Did you kill her? I... I struggled. Panicked. I acted in the heat of the moment. And the file on Demos. Most likely it was reduced to Kindle. Gone. Or so we thought. Hendrix called in transport. Singapore was another dead end. But we needed a few answers from Kane. Starting with who the hell was she? And what was she doing in an abandoned CIA safe house? The truth proved more eye opening than we could have imagined. Oh, please let that be it. I don't think it is. No. After the aquifers, we certainly hadn't expected to see Kane again, let alone here. She wanted the same thing we did. The data Pure drive pain. on Deimos. Pure Better yet, pain. she knew where it was. It was moved from the safe well, house to the shower. I'll be back. black station in the quarantine There's two more zone. missions. Did she say why Gojulan... You said that last time. <laughs> Tyson. Wasn't Gojulan. You said that last time. Gojulan was a puppet. You do realize that, right? You said that last time. time. <laughs> you said that last time. Guess it is. You said that last time? Yeah, did you touch her? No. I'm gonna go, shower. I'm gonna go take a shit. Our guard shower. Was up. But Are if she sure? could get us to the black station, I'm gonna get ready for shit. bed. It's getting late. <sighs> you must be tired. Uh, yes. Playing the shittiest campaign ever. Thought it would have been decent, but no, it's not. The Singapore quarantine zone. We never thought we'd be back here. You gonna go to bed after this? Bad memories? Uh, no. You know damn yeah, well it certainly take wasn't a little break and play afterwards. The place was a living, Wait, breathing what? reminder you know? of the incident five years ago. What's the fuck? We'd be in and out quick. We weren't staying Bro, in you could have played with me. Find out who this Deimos asshole not? was and get the hell out of Dodge. You know, you dumb fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you dumb fuck. Kane said the data drive on Deimos was encrypted and separated into two pieces. We needed both to access the drive. Like a lock and key. The lock, I assume, was at the black station. Where was the key? The key. That was down by the docks. Undead Central. Heavy hostiles. We brought a DNI equipped to Michael. Move it, Andrea. Couldn't be too careful. That and command had prepped a drone strike to wipe out most of the dock. But with the high winds from the incoming superstorm, well, no guarantees at work. We grabbed our spike anchors in case we needed to be nailed down. After the docks, our rendezvous with Kane was set for an abandoned police station. Hendrix took the point. More vultures. Preying on the weak. Since the fall of the immortals, they'd inherited all of Singapore. Turned the place into some twisted version of the Wild West. After the events at the safe house, we caught their attention. They weren't exactly thrilled with us on their turf. And were taking it out on the locals to find us. Why didn't you step in? 
You could have saved them. Calculated risks. We needed to stay Computer, quiet I know, I know. and lay low. But but there's always a chance. Computer, Isn't this game there? is absolute shit. Please chance is stop fucking playing. Die. You like the odds of that? Alright, go to the I'll be today, back. If not tomorrow, the day after. Just One way or another, in pain and suffering. Nobody was getting out alive. Because you do not play zombies. If we tried to save them, it could be our next in those colors. We weren't there to save two people. We were there to save all of the rest of us. We needed to get to the black station. Open fire! Raising as little alarm as possible. The last thing we needed were the dead and vultures back in the throats. Turns out the odds were already stacked against us. The winds were picking up. The superstorm could hit at any moment. Good thing we grabbed those spike anchors. We were gonna need them. Holy shit. On the drone strike. Once it did its part, we'd move in. Uh, I'm dead. It's one effective. I'm too strong. I don't even know where I'm going. We'd move in. This is one effective. I'm too strong. And now that ocean liner looked like it was about to rip free. That thing would pulverize the dock, oh, taking boys. the data drive with it. Hendrix said, fuck it. We were built to kill the dead. No reason to switch it up now. Are you kidding me? We secured the first part of the drive and uploaded the information to Kane. Hendrix moved to sweep the wheelhouse. The howling wind told us we had to hit it fast and quick.
powers the Superstorm hit sooner than expected. The barge ripped free and barrel forces. And hang on for dear life. We'd been set to rendezvous at an abandoned police station, but we were off route. We cut through the flooded subway to save time. Fucking not. Like, seriously. Thank you. With the dead cleared out, we moved toward our rendezvous. Turns out we weren't the only living things in there. A vulture got the drop on us, determined to reduce a us vulture. to scrap metal. He'd hit a big payday. Well, I wonder who's gonna pop up. Is it a you woman a with a sniper? To hit? How so? We were dead killers. You break us down to spare parts. You can fetch a pretty penny on the black market. But you were there to fight the dead. You were an ally. Maybe in 2070, when we were the saviors of mankind. By 2075, everybody wanted a piece of us. This guy would have gotten his share, too. But Kane did her part to make sure that didn't happen. She was well trained. Was she CIA? Winslow Accord? She was just someone who was always in the right place, at the right time. Dude, this is so dumb. Before we could move on the Black Station, we had other problems. What had gone wrong? We hadn't taken a scavengers into account. They'd figured out they had dead killers in their midst. Kane told us they had a comms relay ahead. If we scramble them, it could lead the vultures away from the Black Station, at least long enough for us to get what we needed. So much for maintaining a low profile, I suppose. What did I tell you? The thing about dead killers is there's always a plan B. Yeah. You don't create the problems, just the solutions. You adapt to what's thrown at you. Adapt or die. Yeah. Adapt or die. Adapt or die. You plan to regroup with Kane outside of Chinatown.
do. With their calm scrambled, we had one less nuisance to deal with at the black station. Now to get the drive and get the hell out of this shithole. You couldn't take being here, could you? You felt haunted coming back to this city. The feeling had latched onto me at the safe house. Like I was being watched. Something had their eyes on me. Something? Not someone. And I just... felt something pulling me. Guiding me. I couldn't shake it. Our rendezvous with Kane was just ahead. By the time we rendezvoused with Kane, the dead were crawling all over the street. What was Kane's plan? Hit him in the gullet, then bag and tag. Got to admit, the girl wasn't a fight. She seemed to welcome it, relish it. Like yourself. Like a berserker. Like a dead killer. You the damn ray gun, I'll be here. Oh, it's midnight. Shane, you still there? Nobody's talking. It's all muted. Okay, I got that back up. Hi guys. I'll do it myself. Sometimes it's way too smart. What did you find in the black station? Slaughtered CIA staff. Oh, we weren't the only ones looking for the data drives. It was a gruesome scene. Kane quickly assembled the drive. What did you learn? Did you find the information on Demos? We found a dossier. A diary, really, a living testament of what happened 15 years ago, and in the years since. It explained Project Corvus, a CIA mind control experiment. These scientists had combined two ancient biochemical compounds, Nova 6 and something called Element 115. 
They fused them together, created a chemical cocktail, and injected it through their test subject's DNI. They wanted to control them. Control them? Those corpses, below coalescence in Project Corvus, they weren't patients. They were prisoners, the criminally insane. The scientists believed they could make them well again, make people better. But instead, they opened the gateway. A gateway to Malum. It's another dimension filled with absolute evil. It sounds crazy even saying it now, but they opened it not realizing what they'd done, and, and they let him through. Demos. Demos, demigod of dread and terror. He caused the coalescence disaster, unleashed 6115 upon the world, creating the undead that roamed the earth. There were details on Taylor's team. They, they, they were working for Deimos. Helped him trigger Armageddon. There was also other information on his sister, Dolos, demigoddess of trickery and deception. Demigod Deimos, he, he didn't like her very much. And the researcher. Did he have a name? Who wrote this document? Yes, it was... Uh, oh, wait. Holy shit. Dr. Salim. It said Dr. Salim. It was you. You wrote the dossier on Deimos. You were the man behind Project Corvus. Uh, now I get it. So this is gonna be the last mission. Why didn't you tell me? You created Project Corvus, wrote the report. You pulled me along like you had no clue what I was talking about. If I had told you, the impact would not have been the same. You know that. That you could not recall is no fault of mine. After the Black Station, we had to find you. Find out what you knew. I was in Cairo at the time. Your friend, Khalil. He brought you to Ramsey Station. Humanity's last holdout in Egypt. We knew who Deimos was, where he was from, but we didn't know why. He'd taken over the world, but to do what? To find out why, we had to talk to you. Oh wow, we have to talk to you. Oh, I understand everything now. I understand everything. Project Echo. Rise and fall. The pieces were coming together. Virus 6115, Taylor's team, the undead. It all came back to Deimos. All we needed was you. Hendrix was unhinged. Oh, finally done. The idea his friends betrayed I thought there were two missions left. But there's but actually two missions left. Insane, let alone his friends involved. Fuck it, I'm Kane going to bed. in it to the end. Aww, By now, real? she was as obsessed with Bye, stopping Deimos as we were. I, I'm here. We weren't ready for Cairo. Fucking 9.30. No matter what we thought. I told you I needed to play this the zombies place. campaign, and you said yes, if and there was ever play a Kano. place that was hell on no, Earth, I'm not doing it. No. this was it. No. It wasn't just the city. How long have you been recording? Huh? How long have you been recording? Three hours. The walls were covered yeah. with memories yeah, that's of what the I dead. Thought. Those taken by 6115. Lost. It said the campaign wasteland. was at least two hours and Desert three minutes. For the I, I died a multiple the times. This would have been like be. two players. You chose to hide there. Been, Why? The campaign for that very done. reason. You know? I no. hoped no one no. would come for yeah. me. No, Why? stop lying. Stop lying. What were no. you running from? From what you saw. Ah. Demos. Well, unfortunately, Khalil was waiting. For a while. He was holding you in an interrogation uh, room. It's okay. How was Khalil? We haven't played for eight months anyways. It wasn't okay, a long welcome. As far as he was concerned, we owed him one for grabbing. No, you're not. Stop lying. More than you're a few lying. men gave their lives to Stop, stop me. lying. He hoped stop it was lying. worth it. He was angry. Stop lying. No, was no, tired. no. Yeah. No, I don't get you. You, you did scream. We can play another time, you know, like tomorrow. But, you know, you're going to uninstall Black Ops 3. And yeah, you're going to move on to the other campaign. Extinction. You fucking slut. The undead changed everything. I'm so sad. The NRC You're gonna abandon me? And yeah, exactly. We saw that exactly. in Ethiopia. The okay. damage done by the dead didn't even take into account what the water wars What is going on, man? When the continent dried up and the Nile River Coalition took war to Egypt over the Nile, the last water supply 
They were so busy fighting, they didn't realize it too had dried up. But the rise of the undead. All right. You fight an enemy All right. that doesn't yeah, need water. I love Khalil's you. Khalil's rage wasn't oh, yeah, the it asshole. It wasn't yeah, personal. So to anyone who's watching, he was just barely holding on. Subscribe. What did you hope because to learn from? I don't. I don't think anybody's gonna freaking How subscribe to after Everyone or even knows. watch this campaign because it's so ass. Because Tyson is. The whole base was on edge. Was you could feel dying. it in the air. Yeah. So if anyone finds the this video, moving on Ramses. Please. Assault was imminent. Help a friend. Khalil <laughs> help a friend. How much time we had. <laughs> I <laughs> beg you. Demanded to know why we weren't <laughs> I beg, please. How did you Khalil guys? respond oh, to his shit. anger? WA command was down. Was like, How was okay. he meant to get his message? Oh, yeah, actually, you could do it's it's a police eclipse. They still had their dead system. She, uh, they used to knock enemy that. aircraft Just, out of the sky. Uh, but now they were used to disparage them. 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 Yeah. Khalil let us it's like a 40-minute-long video, and he's going to be fucking... See, Brian, he's not going to be fucking... But if we could get answers out of you, maybe we could find a way to fight back. I'm going to lose all my fucking coins, just... He goes, shut the fuck up, you go! You fucking asshole! And he was like, what the... He goes, he's crying after me. I'm a lick, too. Alright, my son. You certainly weren't too happy to see us. You say it like I had a choice in the matter. With no time, we needed you. The truth serum would make you a lot more willing to divulge. Hendrix told us to take a walk. Bro, what is this? He asked about Taylor and Deimos. He wanted you to connect the dots. And I told him Deimos controlled them. Your friend Bishop was correct. There was a brain manipulating the undead. It was Deimos. Deimos realized he could access a person's DNI. He could possess them, inhabit them, consume them. He didn't need to turn them. Like puppets on strings. The undead are mindless creatures. But Taylor's team, Gojulon, anyone with DNI, they could be hosts. They were slaves to do his bidding. Hendrix wanted to know why. We both did. For many years, I had studied Deimos and his dimension Malum, a place of unspeakable evil. He had been pulled to Earth, yanked from his existence by accident. Trapped here, he saw opportunity to enslave humanity and use them to wage an unholy war against Dolos. The demigoddess. His sister. That was it? We were, we were just a chess piece. Our entire existence oh was just God. a pawn in a much larger game in a universe far bigger than you realize. Humanity is an ant hill. Demos and Dolos are two children fighting over the magnifying glass. But Hendrix was desperate. He wanted to know how to kill Demos. Oh, damn, oh, my damn testicles, bro. How does Shit. one kill a god? You can't. The only way to defeat him, the only way to sever his control over the undead, for Bishop Serum to work and save humanity was to send him back to Malum. And yep. to do that, we needed to open the gateway. As we are doing the gateway, now, there's going to be a wraps right in the face. Memories. The assault on Ramses was beginning. The base was about to be overrun. What the heck? I only have a pistol, so sorry.
We weren't nice. ready for the station assault. I don't know how the dead got in. Maybe an abandoned tunnel, an infected civilian, or maybe the vultures that went through. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Egyptian army came over comms. They'd never seen a horde this size move on the station. A whore? If we had any chance to stop them, we needed to reinforce the eastern checkpoint. A narrow passageway the dead you. would need to traverse to reach Ramses. I see you. Cairo. She was a city on fire. Except for the Egyptian army and a smattering of civilians hidden away. She'd fallen to the dead. Khalil didn't say it, but I could hear it in his voice. He knew this was the last stand. If they lost this battle, they'd lose the city. What was Khalil's plan? The undead were moving on the eastern checkpoint. A clear shot at Ramses Station. The Egyptian army had rigged explosives below the street, but there were a few support columns we would need to take out first. We had the spike launcher for that. You talked of his desperation, his total acknowledgement of futility. Yet here he was, staying, staying and fighting. What else was he going to do? Yeah, I'm staying and fighting. Open to the freaking complete this the shitty campaign. The Diaz opened the quarantine zones. The moment Deimos entered our dimension, one way or another, death was coming for us all. But while we still could, we would fight. We had a checkpoint to defend. It was a simple, straightforward plan. Except... Our VTOL was shot out of the sky. The mobile blockade fell early. It wasn't just the undead gunning for us. Cairo was a no-man's land, filled with the undead, rogue robotics, and scavengers. They were all converging on our position. If we were going to pull this off, we didn't have time to fuck around. I grabbed the spike launcher and told oh, Kane at yeah, HQ cool. to locate the support columns for us to blow. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Are you? Detonated the last support column. We had to get back behind the wall so we could blow the street. Our trigger man got hit. I had to get up there and detonate. Easy, man. I told Hendrix I needed a moment.
Good thing Hendrix still had our back. Wow. Congratulations to you up the damn street. <sighs> Seriously? Khalil thanked us. He thought they still had a chance. They had no idea what was about to happen. Egyptian army command came over comms. A scavenger had blown a hole through Sophia Square, and the undead were pouring through, headed for Ramses. I told Khalil we'd take care of the square. Oh boy. On Hendrix. What the fuck, man? Oh my god, people are me. I gave Hendrix a hand opening the VTOL hatch. I heard screams. There was someone still alive. You went in to save this man? The odds of his survival could not have been great. You yourself said no one was getting out alive. Does that matter? I guess it was Khalil who changed my mind. There were so few of us left. If there was a chance, any chance, I'd take it. Even with all odds stacked against you, you tried to help this man. He clung to life without hope, and still you tried to save him. Yeah, you did. Turns out it didn't matter. It would only be a matter of time before he turned and joined the horde. No time to see him mourn. If Black Ops that, I'd end up joining him. or Treyarch and we would make a good campaign, like a zombies campaign, a it should be a zombies apocalypse. Had I voiceover over another insane. campaign.
on. It was only a matter of time before a malfunctioning ASP arrived, ready to take out everyone and everything. There you go. Holy crap. We cleared the plaza, but something was wrong. I could hear it. What did you hear? Nothing. And that was the problem. <laughs> it took us a moment to realize what had happened. Something had taken up the dead system. One of the scavengers, maybe a malfunctioning biped. We saw reinforcements fly in, but it was too late. Khalil tried to reach Egyptian command. All we heard were screams. Ramsey's station had fallen to the dead. We got out of the open. Khalil, he, he'd reached a breaking point. And no mistaking that look. That look of defeat, anger, frustration, Hopelessness. You try to sympathize, you try to comfort. Doesn't matter. Then Kane came over comms. She picked up the location of Sarah Hall, another of Taylor's team. Her signal popped back up on the grid. We had traced her to Kebeshet, the sandy ruins of Cairo's Garden City. I told Khalil if there was a sliver of hope, we needed to catch Hall and find Taylor. If we did, and found a way to send Deimos back to Malo. We could undo all of this. And Hendrix? His mind was melting. Yeah, I don't still didn't know advice. what was sparking his behavior. He didn't want to go after Hall. I said he didn't have a say in the matter. He didn't like that. He attacked you. I oh, told you. Geez. It wasn't him. It was that Punch look in his eyes. <laughs> like Gojulan. Like Moretti. Or like Diaz. He wasn't buying this interdimensional down. bullshit. And why should he? What did he say to you? Salim lies. He didn't think uh, opening the portal would save us. 
It would destroy us. The last time it opened, evil came through. Why would this time be different? He said Deimos was trying to trick us. He said you were lying to us. Are you? This is wrong. This is all wrong. You said opening the gateway would save humanity. It was the only way to defeat Deimos and send him back to Malum. But opening the gateway would let the forces of evil through, allow them to conquer Earth, enslave us. Wait, wait, we didn't meet at Ramsey Station. That didn't happen. You're feeding me false memories. Be careful, my child. Tread lightly. No, you are liable to offend me. We contacted Khalil, inquired about you. He, he said you were dead. You died some time ago. I saw you die. When I was with Hall, inside her mind, she showed me the truth. Who are you really, Doctor? Okay. Deimos was going to open the gateway. He needed the demons of Malum to enslave Earth for the battle against Dolos. We didn't know what he had planned, but we had Sarah Hall, her signal tracing to Kebeshet. You didn't think it odd that her signal appeared? After years of absence. It wasn't time to think about it. But if we got her, we could find Taylor and decipher Deimos' plan. Yeah, I'm literally we replaying the damn we fucking Black Ops campaign. The main one. She was waiting. She knew we were coming. Deimos was using Taylor to open the gateway. If uh, we were cool. find him, we needed to take Hall down and interface with her. Freaking die, please. That. interface before I knew how it worked it's a memory retrieval an info dump a lethal procedure but this was different she begged me to do it interfacing with someone is opening a portal to their mind their darkest thoughts and desires but this was her deep subconscious this wasn't supposed to happen. Because the deep subconscious is more than that. It is the gateway, the portal to Malum. The subconscious hides your fears, your doubts, 
It's the most primal version of you. It's what you run from. And by running, you persevere in life. But what if you embrace the subconscious? How do you think I open the gateway? But you said to open the gateway, I had to relive my memories. No. I told you to take me to the start of your journey. The journey into the depths of your fears. You chose to relive your memories. So tell me, what do you fear? Please, why are you doing this? Why are you scrambling my mind? Don't make me do this! Boy, kid. You don't have a choice. You haven't had one since you picked me, me to the depths. What did Sarah want you to see? Project Corvus, 2060. The day of the coalescence disaster. Sarah could feel Deimos coursing through her veins, her mind, the fabrics of her soul. He knew everything about her, and she knew everything about him. She learned the disaster wasn't an accident. But that means... Well... I did what had to be done. This Cold War, the Winslow Accord, and Common Defense Pact had split the world in two. I saw humanity destroy itself. Nice. But in the lab, I saw... I saw... truth. I saw peace. I saw Malum. A way to unite the world against an enemy greater than themselves. I saw... Demos. Demos. You? You did this? this you this opened so the shit. gateway. You brought Demos I, here. As you can see. I brought mankind it doesn't follow the, here. the lips, no? I, I can't stand that. Even After for years, other kind I of movies. Opening the portal wasn't enough. With Deimos trapped oh, in the server room, man had not yielded as I had hoped. I had to incentivize progress. Driving me nuts. You created the disturbance that sent Taylor's team there? His undead servants could only do so much. Humans with DNI. Deimos could use them to walk the earth. Oh, Jesus. Paul told me that she had no idea what they were getting into, but they had to follow standard operating procedure, which meant locking down the site and interfacing with the location's primary systems in the server room below. We were built to be invincible. Our DNI let us interface with systems in dangerous environments and upload information. We created the very opportunity for Deimos to leave the server room. He was a prisoner, with no way to expand humanity's horizon. We were vehicles for his transportation. That makes it sound so cold. This is for the good of humanity. Oh, wow. What did Sarah fear? Failure. At the Academy, she studied the battles of World War II. World War II the bravery of these men. She feared she could never match their heroism. She feared she didn't have real courage. She ran from it. She had nightmares of Bastogne. As she entered her subconscious, she gave into fear. Let it run away. Please. I followed her. Deep within her mind, there had to be a way to save her.
world began to fall apart. We heard his voice. Deimos. Ah. Listen to the sound of my voice. I will have my army. And my kingdom. All that remains is her sacrifice. The campaign would have been a zombies apocalypse. And he wasn't about to let me stop him. Would have been insanely good. Do not put a voiceover like that. It's This this mission is one of the best from uh, from the main campaign. It's pretty dope. Her mind was fracturing, stretched between our dimension and his. Okay. She warned me to turn back, to let Deimos take her. I told her I'd stay with her, I'd see it to the end. I asked her what happened after coalescence. You were deep within her subconscious. At the threshold of another dimension. You seem to embrace the journey. You think I wasn't scared? I was terrified. There was no way to make up for what I had done. But I had to try. she was possessed hall became a passenger in her own body a witness unable to intervene as deimos began using her for his purpose he wanted them to go to the black station he, he wanted to find you to meet the man who'd given him his freedom he slaughtered the stuff Ravage them. Why did he kill them? I wasn't there. He was upset. And he wasn't happy to learn of the documentation of his existence. It was not time for his big reveal, his masterpiece. He was angry. When he found the data drives, he couldn't access them. Part of the drive was missing. He couldn't purge the information as he hoped. Genius. The peace Hendrix and okay, I recovered sir? from the docks. Someone had hidden them from him. Someone knew he would come. Someone was trying to stop him. Deimos didn't want Sarah divulging his secrets to us either. He ripped us from that memory. We were in Foy. I didn't just see fear in Sarah's eyes anymore. I saw admiration. The longer I stayed, the stronger she became. The more she actually believed she had a chance. She told me to follow her. It was something she wanted me to see. Something she wanted to tell me. Battle of Foy. Chapel ahead of us. Paul told me to follow her there. Shit, holy shit, holy shit, but to get to Hall, shit, 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 shit. we had to get through the Tiger Tank first. Give me that shit. Oh, 
Okay, I understand. I understand. Yes. Well, that's a tank. White tank. I found her in the chapel. I tried to approach her. Ooh. I forgot. Ideas. Jeez. He was desperate to separate us and evict me from her mind. He wanted her, and I was getting in his way. Nope. I am not. Nope. Just go over here, just like so. We got a transformer over here. No there. She told me to approach her. She wanted me to understand. Sarah couldn't understand. She only saw how it ended. Humans are obsessed with beginnings and ends. The journeys between, they become filler. Life becomes filler. She tried to fight the voice in her head that had given her the ultimate gift. The ultimate gift? Deimos was controlling her. Relinquishing control is the ultimate gift. Free of choice, free of pressure, free of consequence. Her actions dictated for her You're with greater insane. purpose. No, humanity is insane. You asked her to help you find Taylor. Where did she take you next? Deimos needed Taylor to open the gateway. So I had to know how. Had to know what Deimos was planning. The aquifers. Sarah told me this was their fortress in the sand. Their FOB for years. Deimos couldn't access the intelligence at the Singapore Black Station. He couldn't locate you, so they hid here, waiting for their moment. She took me there. Dude, this is so fucking frustrating, man. I just want to be done with it. Please. There's something I don't get. You made this happen. You pushed for the annihilation of Earth. But Deimos wasn't using you. You weren't his puppet. What's in this for you? Why are you doing this? Are you an undead sympathizer? No, my child. Dr. Salim was not a sympathizer. He was so much less than that. He was so much more insignificant than that. Was? Wait. What do you mean, was? He did. I must say, I'm impressed with how delusional you've become. You had completely forgotten this memory. They found you. They tortured you for information. But this doesn't make any sense. You were an ally. You enabled him, freed him. Dr. Salim was no ally. He was a tool. An instrument I enable. He was a blind idealist believing he could make the world a better place. That I could save humanity. That he could save humanity. <laughs> he thought I'd found him to thank him. 
me. A god. Thank a mortal. I found him to seize power from him. No. <laughs> Even now you still hide from the truth. Corvus had been destroyed in Singapore. I needed it to open the gateway. That was why I had kept Salim alive. He worked with a colleague, Kruger. And they built me a new Corvus at Coalescence headquarters in Zurich. One which I could use to open the gateway. So I had no further need for the doctor. She knew what was coming. All that remained was her sacrifice. For her to join my ranks and eternal damnation under my command. I am humanity's salvation. Oh, is that a so? savior giving purpose to a lost species that deserves far less. I am Demos. Demos. Is that so? The tree. I've seen it before. The entrance to Malum. Tell me, what do you fear? Let me you don't know. fear the undead. You've thrown yourself against insurmountable odds as if you had a death wish. As if. You were trying to escape. Alright, um, yeah, this is, is the funnest fear? mission. Is it the campaign with the zombies? No. You no. will fear your mistakes, your past. Your greatest fear is the memory. Just you. You awaited her sacrifice. She wanted me to stop you. She wanted me to end it. To deny you her offer. Maker, Brecky are the best. I want to play some regular zombies. This campaign is awesome. Fire. Hands on fire.
wants to die. You, you wouldn't give up. You wouldn't let me have her. If she offered herself, she'd give you what you wanted. The only way to deny you yeah. was to kill her. You wouldn't give up. You wouldn't let me have her. If she offered herself, she'd give you what you wanted. The only way to deny you was to kill her. You denied me my prize. It was time to send you back to your world. You must know how this ends. This ends with your sacrifice. But now I hang you. I passed from Hall's mind to your own. Slowly, I would work my way through you. Saren may have told you who I was and what I was planning. But none of that mattered, because now I had you. But you were strange. I tried to seize control, but something pushed back. Something fought me. They located Taylor. He was being held at Lotus Towers, run by a man named Hakim, an undead sympathizer who would get you out of Cairo. I told Cain we had to hurry. We had to hurry if we were going to stop you. But there was something we needed to know. The data drives, how did Kane know they were split up? Was she the one who separated the drives? Why? She said there was much we didn't know, but we would in time. We had to trust her. We had to get to Lotus Towers. Lotus Tower is the last mission. You know how this ends. You're like the rest of them. Diaz, Moretti, Hall, Taylor. I flow through your veins, that slowly though. grasping control. I don't think so, but... stronger than I anticipated. Yes, I am very stronger and much stronger than you. That's why you're going to lose. Okay, can, can we carry on with this campaign? You think I'll help you? After all this? What real choice do you have in the matter? You're the pawn in my game. I'm not about to hand over humanity, but I'll humor you. Fine. Let's talk about Lotus Towers. And there you go. Lotus Towers. Do 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 do. Lotus Tower was one of many mega structures in Cairo. Hakim was the self appointed slum lord of the vertical city. That fucker was a maniac, an undead sympathizer providing Taylor with safe passage from Cairo to Zurich. Khalil and the Egyptian army joined us for the assault. If we got Taylor, we thought we had a chance. We took out Hakim's men. To get to Taylor, we first had to kill the slum lord then take the security station on the 25th floor. From there, we could locate Taylor and shut oh, down wait, the head systems. Oh wait, this is not the, the last installed, mission. Oh my allowing god. Allowing the rest of the Egyptian army to join Bro. the fight. So there we were. I'm just humanity's trying. last hope. Jesus. If we failed, we were fucked. Do as he asks. Give Deimos what he wants. Trust me. We made quick it's work of Hakeem. Okay. Remember the truth. Khalil spoke to the people. This was their time. Time for the living to take back this city of the dead. I don't understand. There we go. Give me a good gun, please.
Oh yeah, Brecky. Khalil had a mobile shop in place. Use it to get to the 25th floor. But first, we had to battle our way around the atrium. Let's fucking go, Hendrick. Fuck. Once we took the security station and killed the dead system, Cairo air support could move in. Maybe we'd have a chance. Or at least give the people a chance. And then we were coming for Taylor. We were coming for you. All me balls. security station had gone under lockdown. We found a way through the air ducts ahead. Hendrix opened a path for us. The delay irritated him. But then he wasn't himself. I wonder, how did you not know what happened to him? So blinded by blissful ignorance. Cain set the deads to overheat. Egyptian army VTOLs would join the fight in a few minutes. And John Taylor? He was in a detention center on the 90th floor, just waiting. He could have left at any moment, but... I was waiting, waiting for you. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. What oh, was it? No. I must know what was in your mind that refused to fall in rank like your friends had. Even now I am without answer. Even the all-powerful and all-knowing are neither all-powerful or all-knowing. Do you know oh my who God. I am? Can you comprehend what I have seen? Millions of timelines, universes where the coalescence disaster never happens. Ones where it occurs, but instead of opening the gateway, it gives birth to a new life form. And that's just Earth, let alone the rest of the universe. The very notion that I can achieve such greatness and not control a portion is insulting.
crap. Hendrix was stretched thin. You'd broken him. I enlightened him, like I did you. Look at the false memories I created for you. I tried to remove your near-death experience in Ethiopia. I added myself to your memory of Ramses. I protected you from what haunted you. I wanted to make you understand my motive. Right. This war with your sister, Dolos? What's it say about you that the only way you can defeat her is by enslaving backup? Don't you dare mock me. Yes, I will mock you because I want. Gotta hurry up. Not die. I think I just killed myself. Come on. There he was, John Taylor, the last five years, boiling down to a single moment. And you hesitated. You could have killed him right there, and you hesitated. After all these years, running from failure, and you couldn't pull the trigger. You had what you wanted right in front of you, yet you stopped. What was it? Why stop now when you were so close? Oh my god. Was it compassion? Regret? No. It was Hendrix. He tried to talk Taylor down, get him to change his mind. And for a moment, I saw the light return to Hendrix's eyes. I saw him. This is one of my last memories with Hendrix before... Well, before what happened. And watching Taylor walk away as Hendrix pleaded, I saw the inevitability. We weren't going to win this war. But as always, you pressed on. This was the world we made. What else were we going to do? them come like puppets on strings what choice do you have to all right our ultron this is the world you made for yourself Literally.
Can I get it? Oh no. That was a freaking close one. Gunning for Tower 2. The NRC built an airfield on the roof. It was his way out of Cairo. The Egyptian army moved in to offer support as we moved across the sky bridge. What happened when you entered Tower 2? Another malfunction. My DNI. Listen to me. What the heck? Listen to the sound of my voice. I need you to trust me. Let him win. The only way to defeat Deimos is to let him win. You are more powerful than he can imagine. You can still save them. You can still save everyone. Hendrix snapped us out of it. Tower 2 was an inferno. An abandoned robot factory crawling with malfunctioning robotics and the undead. We had to move.
Oh. Our conversations. Talking to you now. It has been quite the journey. Even now, you still resist submission. I don't think I've ever met a human like you. You certainly are unique. You really gave humanity a fighting chance. By this time, you knew I was baiting you, waiting for you. I had no need for Hendrix. He wasn't interested. I wanted you. I gave him something to keep him busy. You came after me. What's it like? Looking at him for one last time. One moment he's with you. <laughs> next. We know what happens next. I was leaving Cairo. It was time to move on. But still I lingered. The right thing you had my full attention. Your resistance, your unwillingness to yield hope. Damn, alright, my dear. I wanted to see what you were made of. Mothership. The only way to bring it down was by taking out its thrusters. I needed something more powerful. And you threw everything you could at me. On mother shit. Down to Martigale, bitch. Ow. There you go. Easy, man. The mothership crashed and pinned me on the roof. I was oh, stuck. You, eh? Trapped. I called out, but there was no one there. I've gotten over my curiosity, and now you were just a nuisance. I no longer needed my distraction. It was time to rid the world of you. And Taylor was just the vehicle to carry out my plan. You raised your hand, tried to stop him, tried to reason with him. But something happened. A change. He changed. What was it he said? He told me he had to get you out of his head. He ripped out his DNI, the very method by which you controlled us. Hmm. What did he say to you? He asked me about Cain. Somehow he knew who she was. He... He told me to trust her. I don't know how he knew. But then he got shot. my puppet made his entrance. Hendrix. He was infected. Like Taylor. Like me. It happened at Coalescence Singapore five years ago. When he interfaced with Diaz. I should have seen it. I should have known. You'd been possessing him since the beginning. <laughs> you humans, so focused on your beginnings and endings. It's no wonder you destroyed yourselves. So I gave you your ending. I left you there to die. Hendrix would be my vehicle of annihilation.
last, last mission. Find a freaking me. And we're done. Let's rip this and save. But your guardian angel, she wouldn't let you die. She saved you. She helped you cheat death again. She wouldn't let you die. You must have been tired. Tired of fighting. Of running. Of living. What's it like to escape death when it's all you desire? What did she have to say to you? Do as he asks. Give Deimos what he wants. Trust me. It's all going to be okay. No, it's not. That we were I'm going to Zurich. Brain cells. To stop Hendrix. To stop you. To end it. Humanity has outstayed its welcome. The dead shall inherit the earth. I shall have my army to defeat Dolos. Malum shall be mine, and all that remains is your sacrifice, an offering of blood. Follow your path, relive your final moments, and change your fate to a far greater one. Your resistance was strong, but it was a matter of time before you obediently bow before me, as the rest of your species did. Let us return to Zurich and finish this. I will have my war, and you will bear witness to the end of mankind. With Hendrix as my vehicle, I stampede towards our essence, leaving pandemonium in my way. Zurich was one of the few remaining standing cities. With control over my undead army and the city's robotic security force, I decimated it in hours. I needed to separate you from your guardian angel, Kane. I didn't have control over her, and she was pulling my power from you. That would come later. I take him for lessons at all, surrounding it with an impenetrable armor. But I waited for you. I was so curious. I was in your head. But I couldn't take control. I wanted more. I needed to know how before I opened the gateway. But before that, you had to get through my undead army. Moment, boys. Well, they're dead. Are you okay, sir? No, they came in the Systems have gone haywire. Vehicles, trains, power, anything connected to the grid is now a weapon.
you used Hendrick's DNI to plug into the system. We could see that from the carnage you unleashed, but we didn't know how bad it was yet. WA Command came over comms. They were experienced, and you built yourself a wall of robotics blocking us from coalescence. Why? Fine. How about that? Boom. Find a freaking 
lane. By the time we made it inside, you'd extend it beyond Switzerland's grid. You'd seize control of WA Command. All remaining robotics protecting the world from the undead were now only loyal to you. You've done it. It was the beginning of the end of mankind. All that stood between you and domination were the two. Oh my god. And soon that too will be dead. Holy shit, bro. Holy fucking fuck, fuck. Holy fuck, bro, man. Fuck his shit. Oh my god, man. What the fuck is going on? I I'm about to lose it, bro. Macro. He's gonna die. You trapped us in a decontamination room. You released this chemical. 6115. The virus that caused the outbreak in Singapore. Then I had enough to wipe out all of Zurich. You had triggered multiple breaches and containment failures. I interfaced with the system to see how bad the damage was. As I predicted. She sacrificed herself. The room was flooded with 6115, and the system reset was in there. But wait. No. There was a problem. What had you done? You lied. You tricked her. There was no breach. She sacrificed herself for... for nothing. I ripped her from you. She could toy no more in my affairs. The dose I gave her wouldn't even turn her. It would simply kill her. I will never understand your species. You sacrifice yourselves for so little. Look at her. She gave her life for something that would amount to nothing. You tie yourselves to emotions, forcing you to act impulsively. Without considering what could happen. You give your lives because you believe there's something to gain. As if a heavenly body would fall to its knees and worship you for your good deeds. Do you remember this place? What happened here? You found Kruger. The one who rebuilt Project Corvus. It was time to open the gateway. And Kruger was proving difficult. Unwilling to fulfill his task, but he was equipped with DNI like yours. There were easier ways I could persuade him. I could become him. I couldn't let you. I told Hendrix to stand down, or I'd take him down myself. You were desperate to convince him to open the gateway. You were relying on me being unable to shoot my friend, but I eventually did. We shot each other. I bled out on the floor and died with Hendrix. Stopping you! But now you will shoot first. Change the memory. Don't wait for him to turn on you. Kill him. Change.
change your fate. Let him win. Everything will be all right. <laughs> Good. Now sacrifice yourself. Open the gateway. Do as he asks. Let him think he's won. Offer yourself to him. Wait. What? Where am I? What is this place? Hendrix? What are you doing here? Oh, Where are we? What the hell's going on? Yeah, I can't... Yeah, but I, I can't hear you. Yes, that's what what you are you hear. saying? Because he's not talking Why? to you. He's talking Why to can't I hear person. you? Humans have no voice in this place. And how could they? But as it happens... This is not Hendrix, merely a reflection of your consciousness. Exactly. It's how our realm manifests itself to mortals. Another realm. How is this possible? What did you do? Deimos? What's happening? Why don't you ask your friend? Why is it not Corvus? Hendrix can explain it. Artificial intelligence, we he, know. He won't speak. He can't speak. Of course not. Of course the mortal cannot speak. Their voice is meaningless and insignificant. Why would we cater to their wants and wills when they shouldn't be here? Where is here? Like you don't know. Now you choose to play dumb with me. Do you even know what you've done? Where? in his attempts to be heard. But it's curious. How can you speak? You're mortal. Or at least so you would have me believe. Deimos, I don't know what you think's happening. Enough! In time, I'm sure it will become clear, but now? Now I leave you to die. Okay. Hello? Who's there? Where am I? This is your new home, my child. This is my home. I... I, I recognize your voice. You? You've spoken to me before. I am the reason you're still alive. I've been with you from the start. Traveling with you all this time. And now you're going to kill my brother for me. Oh, yes. There's much work to be done. So much fun to be had. How many times can I lead you fun. to death only for you to walk away unscathed? I am Dolos. Demigod of Sepulchre. I can't understand what you're saying. Demos, for how did you send me back? Why couldn't I control you as my puppet, like the others? You're mortal. She may be mortal, my dear brother, but she has a little help from her friend. No. You? This cannot be. What have you done? I've ended your little reign of terror over humanity. The time of the dead is over. No. No. No! No! But... but Deimos... I thought 
you'd be happy. I've brought you back home where you belong. I must be confused. I thought that's what you wanted. Humanity was mine to rule. They were mine to destroy. Humanity will destroy itself in time. It doesn't need our help for that. Sister, you've made a grave mistake. Taylor, what are you doing here? How are you here? It's an illusion I've created for you. A companion to help you. Follow him. Where is he taking me? To Deimos' hearts. To destroy him, you must first destroy his hearts. Deimos' hearts. Oh my god. Do the same shit that I did for the main damn campaign. Deimos? Dolos? Taylor? Is anyone there? Dolos. I recognize these buildings. Why does this place look so strange, yet so familiar? Malum is a realm beyond conceptual space and time. It manifests as a reflection of the individual. This is your Malum. Follow Taylor. He'll take you to the heart. Go, go, go. Move the damn thing, please. Thank you. This cold world is damned and consumed by death. It's outstayed its welcome in the known universe. Father won't be pleased. What better time than now, I suppose? You think I would let you do that? Of course! You were never particularly good at anything. You were built to... I, I arrived on Earth to destroy my brother. you! I lay hidden in shadow. Deimos never knew, but he's a simple creature. He's concerned with revenge, power, violence. He wanted an undead army just so he could kill me. How boring. And I was content to let him think he'd won. So I sat back while he consumed all of Earth. I think that was the, supposed to be the main campaign. Uh, they thought it's gonna be too much. Because they added gods and stuff. I love, like, the but no. No. They you realize the futility of your actions? A human cannot kill a god. But she's no ordinary human. Wherever she goes, I follow. I'm in her head. A part of her. How could you have known my plan? 
because it was my plan. I watched her in coalescence, saved her in the Aquifers, oh, guided saw her it. through battle. This entire time, you've played into my hand. It's a pity she won't live to see me kill you. Bro, how did I just like run? I, I just trapped myself. What the fuck is going on? Dolos, you... you were Cain? You were with me the whole time. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? You were with me the whole time. I am not my brother. I don't turn people into puppets. Not when they're so suggestible and malleable. Why control when they can formulate their own thoughts? Him destroy humanity. Oh, relax. Humanity will be just fine. Without Deimos, Bishop's cure will work. Humanity will return to its boring, uninteresting self. Don't you worry, your little head. means damnation here, I'll take it. Oh, I think you and I are going to get along just fine.
your sister. What's your plan? After you kill me, who's next? Our father? The king on his fiery throne? Cronus. Proteus. And Hippus. Hyrum. The four brothers of the great sea. The mirrors of Perseus. Where does it end? Will you kill all of Malum over that thing, that human? Oh my, now that you mention it, I hadn't thought of that. I, I guess I'll just have to kill all of that. them. You're gonna <laughs> die, please. Burn. Burn run, run while you can, exactly. Voice over, a voice over, another voice over. Me commentating. All of humanity into his army. What the heck? Only then could I take him home. But to open the gateway, he needed a human sacrifice. Just as the test subjects were sacrificed to open the gateway in coalesces. A blood offering. You. You know he's not wrong. You are strong. Stronger than any human I've seen. You force yourself to carry the weight of the world. You use it. It motivates you. Nope. You're driven by the need to do better. To improve on what you once were. What's more human than that? The drive to do better. To be better. I won't let you do this. We're not finished. She's burned your hearts. You're already weakening. Once she destroys your soul, it will be complete. What choice do you have, Deimos? This is the world you made for yourself. I cannot be defeated. I won't be undone. Ah, damn, I'm about to have a seizure. Why won't you just die? This is your chance. Let's see what a mortal can do. Do it. Kill him. No. I am Demos, demigod of dread and terror! Oh yeah? How's this for fucking horrifying? Oh yeah, look at that. Wait, this is Zurich. You said I couldn't come back to Earth. Right now, we've got bigger problems. Why? Because we killed your brother, heir to the throne of Malum? We've thrown this universe into anarchy. Demigods, sirens, titans, deities alike will go to war. Let them come. I like the sound of that. So, what's the plan, partner? Uh, end the damn campaign, please. That's the plan. I can go to bed. <laughs> we kill every last one of these motherfuckers. See what type of shit was that? Very disappointed. I was hoping for something more like boss fights and another another type of storyline. But no, it's basically a makeover. <laughs> like what? Scroll. I'm gonna be scrolling. Very fast through this credits. As, yeah, I don't know what to, I don't know what else to say. I was open for more. So I wasted five hours to play this. Hopefully you guys enjoy it because I did not enjoy it. <laughs> I mean I'm honest man. If I don't enjoy something I'll, I'll say it. Cutscenes. A very special thanks to our families and loved ones that we learned before the sacrifice for the strength possible. And you to our friends who've been here bringing us over the course of seven years during this Earth Black Ops. Seven years. This game has been out for like almost ten years now. No. Eight. I just hope I got my achievement. 
all I'm asking. That was it, folks. Black Ops 3 Nightmare Zombies campaign. Hope y'all enjoy it. I'm a ninja, and I'm gonna get ya. Where the sun don't hit ya. And you'll never see it coming, even if you're on the run. There's nobody in this world that can protect ya. You can't match my speed. Bye, have a great time.